Coming back home, the CDC said today that 279 pregnant women in the United States and its territories have tested positive for Zika virus. The number suddenly tripled because the government changed the way it is reporting cases. Dr. John LaPook is following this. And this one's a little girl. All pregnant women who test positive for Zika virus, with or without symptoms, will now be included in a federal registry. Dr. Denise Jamison is with the CDC Zika virus response team. At the beginning of the outbreak, we were um, hoping that women without symptoms would not have adverse pregnancy outcomes. And since we now know that adverse pregnancy outcomes can occur in women without symptoms, we felt it was really important to start reporting these numbers. The CDC is now monitoring 157 pregnant women with Zika infection in the 50 states and another 122 in Puerto Rico and other U.S. territories. In the U.S., most cases were acquired from travel to affected areas and a few through sexual contact. The CDC says most of the women are still pregnant. It's too early to know how often the virus infects the fetus. We know of less than a dozen cases of pregnant women with Zika who've had adverse outcomes, including miscarriage and birth defects. And Nora, she turned okay. In February, we met one of those women, Samantha Mejia, at her home in Illinois. She had recently miscarried after becoming infected with Zika virus while vacationing in Honduras. They didn't find a heartbeat. So that was, that was really hard. <laughs> Zika was found in the placenta. Finding out how often the virus causes miscarriage and birth defects is one of the main purposes of the registry. This registry will follow the women and their babies for one to three years. That monitoring will require extra resources. Just one reason the administration asked Congress for $1.9 billion. That was 88 days ago and still no new funding. Thanks, John.